this is going to be interesting because listening to McLaughlin's radio too, they are now talking maybe about having to do a splash and go. So Will Power will come in as well. This should just be a splash and go and a tire change for the Lucas. So uh, this is ever evolving and we'll try to keep an eye on just who's doing what down here as the Lucas completes his service. Literally the last stop with the Lucas and Power. So that's what we know. They don't need to stop. The others, maybe they do, or they need to save them. Just can't see any scenario where they would have made that last stop had it not been good after the accident. And, and now they was hard. And there's no pressure. Now that now that power is made, you know, you're trying to make up this whole big stop on the racetrack as it goes in 40 laps. That's going to be nearly impossible to do. Right now we're blocking and laughing. Come and pit, and 
it's just the two of them. They can pit and not lose any time. True. So only they are going to be close. The first time by. Saturday night shootout <laughs> on low fuel and new Firestones between two teammates. If you do drive a race between the bus bros for the win with full fuel. So here's the thing. It really depends how many laps short they were and how long this caution goes. Nick Arden's really the only one to pick. Well, they're not going to pick. If you don't want third place being on the same lap as you, that's true. And so if, if this yell is long enough, they're going to stay out and it's going to be still old tires. But if one goes, and the other's going to be If you're New Garden, why wouldn't you? Yeah. But would you be a lap? Oh, not too good. You'd be the only driver on the lead lap if one of the pivots. Now, if one of the pits is all at the back of the line, nobody can get the wave around. It's good to see David Malukas climbing out with the help of the AMR safety team. What a tough break. It looks like he got pinned down low and washed up as Will Power was going.